Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back checking out some viewer creations. Now these are by Frederick, and if you remember that name, he sent us some viewer creations last week. And he's actually sent us quite a few maps, I just haven't gotten around to checking them all out, but he just recently sent this one, and I was like, dude, that's cool. That is really cool. So. We're gonna check these out. Now he does have a YouTube channel if you'd like to check that out. I'll link that in the description. And I wanna say he's got a download on his video on this creation on his channel. So if you'd like to check that out, if he doesn't, we'll try to get that out to you as soon as possible. But yeah, he's got three creations and these all actually go together. Now he is using the MJM mod and possibly the Grego and the Durf. They're all kind of mixed together now. I just recently downloaded the new MJM mod and it's got some really cool pieces. Uh, let me go down here and check some of them out. Uh, you've got some new, like a standing seat, a mech seat, or a jetpack. You can actually sleep in a bed now. Uh, apparently the drive... Uh, is that a pillow? Is that a drivable pillow? Okay, that's a... That's something. But yeah, he's got all these new parts. And this mod, or this creation here, does require these parts. Uh, not necessarily some of these crazy ones. And I'm gonna have to check these out. I believe this weekend we're gonna do a modded build. Uh, I'll try to do that in probably another town update, so I'm probably going to use some of these because I like these a lot. But anyways, the creation. He has a huge, we're going to call this, or at least I think he calls it like a cargo car. And that's, that's a little bigger than a car to me. This is like a cargo monster. This thing is huge. Now, it's meant to haul around those two tanks. It's got a huge crane on the side of it. This thing actually does drive. Uh, if you want to look at the spider web here, I mean, this thing is fully featured and I'm ready to jump into it. Now, he's also got two tanks over here. This one, I believe, or actually both of them are like troop transports. I believe they are slightly different from each other. Uh, they actually do shoot. Uh, they've got these little cannons on the top where you load in a block and it's got some sort of suspension piece that blows the block out and something is flinging around out there. I'm watching something fly through the air. I don't even know what that is. We're going to ignore that. But anyways, let's jump into the big one real quick, because that's the one that I need to check out. So, let's go ahead and open it up here. It gets a little bit of lag once this stuff touches the ground, but if you put the door back up, it's just fine. So, that's actually a nifty door. I like that. I like how it folds up and then the other side kind of comes around. Uh, back here, these are the doors. At least one of these is the back door. Let's hit that. It's got a little timer here. Okay, there, there there goes that one. Now, what's the what's the other one here? Uh, you know what? I think that could be just cosmetic. I think you're supposed to hit both of them at once. I'm assuming because I don't see anything spiderweb-wise that would say that that's hooked up to something besides a timer. But yeah, you would drive the tanks, which we're going to attempt that. I don't think Scrap Mechanic's going to particularly like us driving these tanks up into this, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. We'll do that here in a second. Let's check out the actual creation itself. Now you see up here, there's a trap door. He's got that little piece out to the side and it's like a little, I would say it's like a little cargo holder. And I believe you can open this up and actually use the crane to drop, the, drop it in the middle here. Uh, back here, this is just the area to, I guess, park the two tanks. And he's got a little divider wall here. That way, I guess they don't rock back and forth and hit each other. Uh, that might actually help for lag, so. Uh, over here, I uh, love those doors. Oh, he's actually thought of a bathroom. He's got a, there he's got a little thing with the, what is that? I didn't know you can actually do that. Okay, he's got a little toilet paper roll with a bearing on it. Uh, you've got a sink, just your basic necessities, little shower. I love that clear glass that the, uh, I think it's the Grego mod has this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut this real quick. Okay, let's go up here. Now here's the main deck. It's got a helipad on it, which that helipad looks really awesome. It's got the uh, trap door here, and I believe this is where the crane would feed that little cargo holder over there. And I think you can drop it into here, so you'd hit this switch here, and it lowers those. So it's got those. It's got this little cockpit area up here. We'll go up in that here in a second. This whole thing drives, by the way. I don't know if I've already said that, but uh, it does. Uh, let's see, over here. You've got a little bit of protection. You've got a gun. So let's see. What is this? Are these hooked into it? Yeah, those are hooked into it. So I like this gun. This is really cool. Let's go ahead and hit the one key and extends out. And the two key kind of rotates it. Uh, the looks like the A and D will actually control the angle. And I 
Ah, there it goes. I know this thing fires. There we go. I don't know how it does it. That's some sort of mod piece, but I don't know how they create that. Actually, it's solid now. That's just weird how it creates that little laser beam. That's really awesome, though. So you have plenty of opportunities to defend this thing. I don't really even know what this is. I mean, he said cargo car, and I want to call it that, but it still looks like it's something else. It's like a huge transport ship. Or not ship. Uh, just say just a huge transport. This thing would be awesome if it hovered, but that is a awfully big mass to be hovering around. Uh, the game's not going to like that at all. Now, maybe with the new engine, this won't be as much of an issue. Uh, hopefully not, because that would be cool to be able to load these up and be lag-free and drive around the uh, whole map. Uh, let's go upstairs real quick. Okay, what's... Okay, what's the front, what's the back? This looks like the crane over here. You know, I think we're... I kept thinking this was the back, but this is actually the front. That's the back, okay. So, this is where you would drive it. And, oh, jeez. This camera is not going to be friendly to me. Let's see. What does the one key do? Okay, we've got a switch here. Okay, the two's the side door. The one, you know, I bet you it's the cargo doors. I think they're on that timer, so let me let them set. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so you've got that. Let's go ahead and put those back up. I didn't check the suspension setup. I don't even know if there is a suspension that can really, you know, hold this up. I mean, you're pretty much going to put it on a bearing and hope that it turns. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh, it does turn. Oh, you know what? Is it using the suspension glitch? Actually, let me listen really close. I think it's got thrusters and wow, this thing actually, it slides over like it's being pushed with thrusters or the suspension glitch. I don't think the big wheels are actually turning from left to right. Oh, I think we are too close to the other creation. See, this is the problem with scrap mechanic right now. Let's back off of those real quick because the game absolutely does not like that at all. There we go. See, that's so odd about this game and they promised in... Unfortunately, I've been hyping up this engine that's not going to come out until the end of October now. But from what they've been tweeting out, they've been saying, like, this is going to be big. Like, you're going to get huge FPS increases. And I really, really want to believe them. So I'm, I'm hoping that this is true. But yeah, this thing probably isn't the most agile, but I mean, it is a huge transport ship. It's got, a, as you can see, a really, really wide turning radius. It's got decent speed, though. Uh, let's make sure we don't get too close to those. I don't even know how I'm going to transport those. I'll, I at least want to drive them up and see if it moves around. But, uh, yeah, it sounds like the thrusters are actually picking up. Maybe there's a sensor under there because it sounds like they're activating, like, not all the time, but, like, they're cutting on and off. But, uh, for a creation this big, it's actually turning really well. And, oh, apparently the crane is not secured, so the crane is kind of wandering off. We'll have to try that out because that's going to be really cool. Hopefully I can actually hook that uh, cargo holder and maybe dump it in the middle here. Let's see if we can get around. This is going to take a while to get back to our normal spot, so uh, bear with me here. Alright, here we go. We're getting close again. I'm going to try to ease over to the left side of it because I'm going to need to pick it up with the crane. I'm really curious how this crane actually works, so we're going to go over here. Uh, a little more to the left. That should be good. Uh, we'll see just how this crane works. So we're going to go over here, almost there. Say a little bit more, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say about right there. Maybe we can pick it up that way. So let's go over here and try this, and we're still getting a bit of lag. I wonder if we're too close to the uh, the tank down there. Now let's hop into this and see what happens. That's not terrible, so let's see. One key is going to lift it up. Okay, oh, is that... Two keys that lift it up? Okay, seems like two of them might lift it up. Let's see, how do we go from left to right? Actually, that's another arm, okay? So that's the main arm is going to be the one and the two, it feels like. And then the uh, three keys, actually the arm that's out there. So that, that would be to pick it up. So let's hit, okay, the four key turns or rotates the hook. Five key closes it, okay. And the six key, I don't really know what the six key does. Okay, let's try to turn this thing. Okay, so it uses the, the W and the S to turn. So I'm assuming those are on maybe electric motors. And let's see, this is going to be like one of those big toy grabbing games or like the big claw games. And that is a, that's pretty massive. That's using some of the new parts. This is a heavy, heavy thing. I think it's actually causing the, uh, the whole craft to lean over to the left. 
And you know what? I might not be close enough. We're gonna see, let's lower. Okay, that's gonna make it go higher. Okay, so two's gonna lower it. And I think uh, we might just be in range. No, we're not quite there. Let's see if we can turn it some more. Uh, I was never really good at those claw games, by the way, so. Yeah, we're just not quite there. I don't believe it extends out. Let me go check that out real quick. Uh, let's go back out here and go onto the main deck and see. I don't believe it extends anymore. Yeah, so basically, if you're going to be loading up cargo, you want to be fairly close to it. And we weren't bad at all. We were really close. I almost kind of want, or I'd like to see like a couple markers on the side of it. Uh, maybe to say this is as far as the uh, arm goes over. So if you need to load something up, you need it to be within like X amount of distance. So let's go back up there. I believe, you know, let's stick it. Let's stick it where we have to at least move it. So let's stick it back over there and we'll move it back and we'll hook it up. So let's go ahead and get back up into the cockpit here. Before we go back up into the cockpit, I actually missed a room here. And this looks like it's going to be the brain. This is where all the, I was wondering where these controllers were and all those are there you can see the electric engines going down to the wheels so you've got those it looks like there is a suspension glitch right here uh, or no actually no that's gonna be the block I think turns and covers the sensors so those are going out to thrusters and that's what's helping this thing turn and also okay that's more thrusters over there but yeah I thought I should point that out because I missed that the first walkthrough and it's always bad to do it's always bad to do that with like viewer creations when you walk through because I get the comments like, hey, you missed something. I'm like, did I? And then you point it out, and I'm like, oh, I'm a little embarrassed. So uh, we should be good to go here. Okay, so we're gonna go back. So let's start to go back to the right here. And man, I really hope I didn't place that box. No, I think we can grab it this time. So okay. We're gonna go hit the three key. Here we go. We're going to be right on it. Up, oh, up, oh, don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's a claw game. Ooh, I hope we can grab that. Okay, let's try. Is it the five key? Okay, five key closes. Okay, so we've got it there. Let's go back up with the two key and the three key. Come on, hold on to it. Oh, that's that's glorious. Absolutely glorious. I love that. Okay, let's go back. I don't know if I can exactly drop it into that hole. I might be able to. Am I going to hit the... No, okay, I thought I was going to hit the cab up here. Ooh, I might bounce off the deck. Oh, we're going to bounce off that. Hopefully this isn't precious cargo because we're we're tipping it over a bit and... Yeah, hopefully this isn't handle with care. There we go. Oh, we're almost clear. Come on. There it goes. Actually, I think we are going to be able to drop it in the uh, thing here. So let's keep it right about there. I should have had these doors open. Dang it. Let's go open those doors real quick. Because I just want to drop it down to the main deck. Let's see. Let's go over here. We're going to hit the trap door. Okay, there we go. Those are open. Alright, we should be good to go here to drop this thing. I do apologize about the FPS, but there's not much I can do here. So, uh, let's go over here. And this should be ready to drop. So, let's hit the 5 key. And, oh no! Uh, are you kidding me? You know what? We're going to use the claw here. And we're going to just smash it down into the main deck. Hopefully this doesn't crash the game. Oh, there it goes. There we go. That wasn't the uh, cleanest job, but the job has been completed. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can swing back with those open. Let's go ahead and close those. But yeah, we're going to, I guess maybe I can put it to rest on this little arm here. So let's go back over and hit the two key and maybe right there. Yeah, that is extremely awesome. So let's go down to the main deck and see just exactly where that landed. Yeah, sure, that's a that's a good job. Let's go ahead and close those doors. Oh, uh-oh. I think, it, yeah, it shouldn't be flipped upside down like that, so it's kind of in the way of the doors. We'll come down here and we'll correct it. So we'll just, oh, no, don't want to grab the big creation. There we go. Uh-oh, uh I don't think I can get out of here. And oh. You know what? I'm destroying the creation now. I'm, I'm messing up. Let's go ahead and open these big cargo doors real quick. And we're going to move this out. Come on, timers. There they go. But yeah, that's uh, that's the crane and little cargo thing we have here. Now on to these bad boys. And what I'm going to circle around both of them, but I believe they are the 
same. Maybe they are slightly different. Uh, let's see, eight wheels. Uh, the seat setup looks the same. I think he just provided two of them on the map. So you've got some seats for the crew. Back here, okay, driver's seat, another crew seat. Uh, let's see, these actually use skid steering, by the way, so I'll show you how that works. Uh, let's go over into this one real quick. They might be the same, so... Let's see, there's crew seats. Got to crouch to get through this thing. Um, there's another crew seat. Yeah, so they are the same. So, oh, I don't think I put the door open. Oh, I can pop out the top. Okay, well, that's something. Well, here's the gun, by the way. We'll uh, load that up here in a second. I want to drive it around for a bit. So, let's go ahead and go back down here. I think he's got a switch over here to the side. Uh, those... I'm not sure what those do. Let's see. Oh, those are wired to the cockpit. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and jump in here. There we go. Now, this doesn't use the uh, WASD. This actually uses the 1 and the 2 key. So, say you want to turn, you're going to hit the 1 key. You're going to turn to the left. Or if you want to turn to the right, you're going to hit the 2 key. Now, if you want to go forward, you just hit them both together. Now, I don't know if he's got this on... A lot of times you'll have like a reverse... Uh, I say a reverse bearing. So you'll have like three bearings, I think, in a row by the wheel to have it where you can click a button to spin them backwards. But I guess, realistically, with this tank, you can just click the one key and instantly you're aimed the other way. Now also, this uh, little turret on top is going to correct itself. So wherever you go, as you can see, it's, it's slow, but it does correct itself, so it doesn't always aim in the opposite direction. Uh, realistically, you'd want somebody riding on top and, you know, shooting it and commanding it. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Uh, you know what this thing really reminds me of? And I'm probably going to flash a picture up on screen of it. Uh, Twisted Metal 2 was a game, I think it's 1996. It's a game, it's one of my first games that I really fell in love with. Had a character called Minion, and the vehicle looks really similar to this. So I'm probably going to flash a picture up on the screen and let you guys see that. It's an old PlayStation 1 game, so the graphics look terrible, but still holds a uh, dear place in my heart. So... Uh, let's fire this off real quick, and then we're going to load it up and see if we can drive around, and then we're going to wrap this up. So let's go ahead and hop out. Uh-oh. I might be... Oh, there we go. thought I was going to be stuck in the gun, so... Uh, guns and scrap mechanic. Let's talk about that for a bit. I've seen quite a few. Most times when I say gun, it's just a launcher. That's about all you can do right now in scrap mechanic until we get maybe certain mods or... Well, this isn't working at all. Hold on. Let's see if I can hop up on the wheel here. Oh, that actually works. But yeah, until you get a, like either a mod to do it or, I don't know, we figure something out, uh, guns don't particularly work well. So what you're really dealing with is most likely either, like, could be thrusters, could be suspension glitches, or something like this. What is going on here? Is that really just... Oh! That's a suspension piece. It's one of the ones in the MJM mod attached to, I believe, two thrusters. So I believe it's going to swing back maybe that one thruster is going to activate and push it back and then once it releases the spring or the suspension piece and the thruster going forward launches oh uh, let's see oh whoa yep you can hear it so what we're going to do here i really wish i can launch can i launch a football out of curiosity how big is this thing oh i think we can i mean i saw him launch blocks but i kind of want to launch a football so uh let's get a piece here so we're going to get this piece this is how you have to load most guns in Scrap Mechanic. and Oh, this is going to need to be like this to load this. Uh, there we go. So, get rid of that. Looks good. Okay. I don't know how far this thing launches, but we're about to test it out. Uh, let's see. Which way do I want to go? I don't know. Let's just see how far we can launch. Let's go up. And... <laughs> uh, I think it launches blocks actually further than that, but that was cool. I mean, we got a football launcher. Uh, let's launch something else real quick. Uh, you know, we realistically should be... Ooh, we can launch a Minecraft block. These are some of the blocks in the new MJM, by the way. Or a Pokeball, Basketball, Bowling Ball. I wonder what type of weight properties these, these actually have. I don't know. What's that? It's cue ball. You know what? Let's uh, let's launch what's you know really intended to be launched. Let's launch a uh, let's launch a block here. So let's go. I don't know. Let's go like that. Let's make it a long, almost like a a spear or like a missile. So we're loaded up, 
And we're gonna go up like this. Let's try not to go as high this time, so... Boom! That works actually pretty well. Uh, that's one of the better launches I've seen in Scrap Mechanic. And, oh, where'd it go? I think the piece disappeared. Either it's... It might come falling out of the sky here in a second. I don't know. We better get this moving. Actually, no, it's back. I saw it fall through the floor. But anyways, let's go uh, load this up real quick. And we're going to try to drive the big thing one more time with this in it. I have a feeling it's not going to work, or it's at least not going to be pretty. But it would be cool if it can do it. Uh, this might be, like, one of the stress tests for the uh, new engine when it comes out. It's like, let's just spawn this thing and load these big old tanks in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one is the same. I keep thinking that maybe I'm missing something, but as far as I can see, everything looks the same on that other one, so... Uh, I'm gonna need this turret to correct itself, because we are a little wide to get into the door, so... Alright, here we go. We're going for it. We are going for it here. I don't know. I can hardly get this straight. I'm, I'm kind of nervous, because I don't know what's gonna happen, so... If the game just disappears, it means it crashed. So, let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we're down to like two frames a second. Uh, this is not gonna work. Like, it's gonna work because you're gonna be able to drive around, but it's not gonna work because we're gonna be running at two frames a second and I, I can't do this. This is not gonna happen. Uh, this is gonna be the test when that engine comes out. We're gonna try this again because yeah, I, I can hardly even fall out of the sky. We've got so little frames. Uh, that probably looks terrible. Let's load that over there. Yeah, that's... That's not going to happen at all, but... Anyways, that is an awesome creation. I want to thank him for sending that. He's actually sent me quite a bit, and I do apologize for not being on it and actually doing these. I I've got a lot more that I've got to look at. Uh, I've been talking back and forth with several people this week uh, about creations that they've sent me. And feel free to email me about that uh, and remind me, because sometimes I do forget. But I've got several others backed up. And if you'd like to send any creations to me, I'm going to flash the email up on screen, so if you'd like to do that... But anyways, guys, if you want to go check out his channel, definitely go do that. I'll talk to him about the download link and see what we need to do there. But yeah, we'll have more scrap mechanic coming up. I'm going to try to have another town update, and I want to have modded build this weekend. But we'll see what I get around to. But anyways, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.